Hello everybody, David here. So this is episode 5 of the uh, attempted recreation of the, um, oh, the children's hospital in Melbourne. A very pretty one. Very, very pretty. This area is quite lovely. Um, so I've done all of the floors. It, it took two whole days to do the floors. <laughs> and the level that's not, it's kind of hidden. <clears throat> and I redid this, these bits here. The yellow is actually elevators. I think actually I put them in the wrong place, but uh, Hence why I said the attempted recreation of of a particular hospital. But the uh, elevator, the yellow goes all the way up. I haven't obviously put in an elevator because uh, I know two kinds of elevators. A water elevator, as in a bubble column, <clears throat> or scaffolding. I I'm not particularly interested in doing flying machines so I, I just, just prettied stuff up added a little bit of lighting on the edges finished the um, stairwells which took a bit of fiddling it's kind of funny because see it looks reflective with the the shader so this is actually the ceiling even though it looks kind of like it's actually real not entirely sure what to do with this bit so it's broken and there will be some kind of parking lot under here so the next part um, I'm going to probably keep avoiding doing this lot because it's complicated and fiddly and I really, really hate putting down grass for like 10 hours straight it's, it's but I will eventually do it uh, this episode's challenge is to do as much of the second half of the building as possible. I think if I have looked at the shape properly, this should take much less time than that part because there's it's, it's all straight lines except for the the curvy bit at the front, which is only one uh, one story high, <clears throat> and then the rest of it's square. So uh, it should be a breeze theoretically to make um, potential problems are mostly I don't know where to put the uh, stairs or the windows and this bit here is sort of halfway in the ground so the levels are going to be a little hard to balance because at this on this side of the building the ground is at this level here and on this side of the other side it's at street level so i'm going to have to be fiddling with figuring out where the you know the levels are and, and where the floors will be and all of that um, there's also it seems to be quite a lot of underground car parking i think actually it looks as if the park, the park parking, <laughs> the car parking is sort of everywhere there isn't hospital. So I may not do all of it, particularly as it isn't on any map. I don't, I don't actually know where all of the, the parking sections are. But I may also see if I can do that if I feel like um, listening to a ebook, a audio book, and just digging and or placing. We'll see what happens. Um, this bit is still bamboozling me because the only image I've got of this section is really not straightforward. Um, it looks like there might be like a tennis court here or something. I, I don't know if that's actually big enough. I have to research how big actual tennis courts are. Maybe it's a badminton court. I don't know. Um, 
but yeah there's no pictures i haven't been able to find any um stuff on the website or anything about what is here i only have google maps and google maps are blurry as heck <clears throat> as anyone who tries to use google maps for uh creation of minecraft locations can attest to but um I'm quite happy with everything else. Uh, I mean, the roof is pretty cool. I just, I'm really pleased I got this um, helicopter pads to work. Um, but yeah, the this building is kind of cut into three chunks. There's the sort of this side of this big long walkway here. So this walkway goes all the way through into the, the mallish area and all the way through to the end here. And this side seems to be at least only, like, you can only see one story above ground, uh, above this ground, above that ground. So I'm, I'm not sure if there's anything underneath. <clears throat> but it's only one level that you can see outside. Um, and this side, there's uh, a section. I think it's actually this section here. And it's 10 stories high. So it's going to be taller than this. Um, which will be interesting. And the other... This is like a bridging section. It's only seems to be only one story here and then you've got one of the main entrances here which is a few stories as well so um hopefully this won't be too complicated i think the levels are still going to be frustrating because <clears throat> it looks like the floors are also on different levels compared to like it's almost like they're three or four different buildings and they've been mashed together so they've got uh, where the floors are are slightly different um i can't imagine how hard it is to navigate the place um in like a wheelchair or something or you know moving around someone on a, a, a bed a wheeled bed but um maybe i'm just estimating too too high so this outline looks like not a lot, but it is marking the basic scale. So hopefully it's possible to get this done either this by the end of this episode or the next. But I'm going to see how much I can do in 10 days. So wish me luck and cue the music.
welcome back. And guess what? I kind of went a bit overboard. <laughs> Once I finished all the stuff you saw on the mon uh, uh, montage, I went, hmm. You know, if I do a few more things, it could be totally finished. And I could surprise you all with with my awesome skills. Um, and, and then it, it just kept happening and kept happening. And I, I, I've i actually done enough for a second, uh, almost a, 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 an additional episode. So um, I'll just show off all of it, if that's okay with you. So this is the entrance. to one of the underground par uh, parking lots I did the whole thing well the entrance I added uh, more greenery and trees and made this area a little prettier it doesn't look much like that in real life but I thought mm, I can't make it look what it looks like I also did all the floors including floors for that that took a day and a half this building here all of the floors i'm so tired of floors mm. but that's okay it, it was worth it it looks it looked really empty without floors i mean it looks empty already but like more empty um this entrance i just did the car park underground car parking entrance um, and I did enough so it goes in and it turns the corner and then there's nothing uh, except bats lots and lots of bats in fact the bats are the reason why there's lighting <laughs> um, I figured with this many steps it might actually be like two levels of car parking but I have to find out how tall car parking looks generally are. I remember them as being quite short, but I'm quite sensitive to uh, claustrophobia. Oops, I've been playing Valheim a lot lately, so I keep pressing E instead of right mouse button to do stuff. This is the hallway. I've been fiddling with it because it was all just smooth quartz, dull as hell. Um, <clears throat> but it's not, not quite done. I got about halfway through and realized mm, this is going to take some more design spoons. But there's a little hallway here just so that I can hide all the torches. This way is only open at the moment because I wanted the light to come through so it was more light and airy. Um, but this this is the hallway that goes the whole way through the, the building that's not a zigzag past the entrance to the main car parking lot and into the mall area so this hallway goes the whole way through the entire building i don't know if it, in real life it has uh different heights um like if this is all flat and i've just miscalculated um but i i did what i could the only problem with it all being mostly done is that I have to find the nearest door to get outside. <laughs> but that's okay. It's all good. Um, I finished the montage without realizing I hadn't done the glass for the back of the building. Which of course is ironic because I watch a lot of uh, Hermitcraft and that's one of their rolling jokes is they didn't finish the back of their building. Um i tidied up this area this was all like holes here and here and no glass on there and no glass there and this is an optical illusion it's an entrance to the another part of the car parking area but it's it's just concrete i just put a wall of black there just to make it tidy i also put in this was open um at the at the intro oops so i i just i blocked it off I, I don't know if there would be windows there but um and i still have not done this bit in the grass 
I just can't get my head around what needs to be done and what I want it to look like. Um, but I will get that done. The The grass line will probably stay. See the, you know, you look down and see underneath the cheat. And it'll probably continue the way around here as well. Although I might want to put a little bit of grass to show the line of grass a little better than that. Because I, I don't know what I'm going to build behind the hospital. And that the hill might just have to go down again or I might have to go up. I, I don't want to do too much work in case I have to undo it. Um, at the moment, mostly other than little tiny enclaves like this area hasn't been decorated yet. The the unfinished bits are just the car parking lots, and underground car parking. Mostly because I just don't know. There's no map of the car parking lots that I can find. So it'll probably just get blocked off and we can pretend that they're for car parking. Um, I wish the render distance for the banners was a little further away. So they go and get try and get some scale on the whole building and they're gone and it looks ugly with just the iron bars. But that's okay. On the whole, I'm I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this building. It is so big I cannot actually view it. <laughs> Even with a render distance of twenty six, I can't view the whole thing in one one shot see that each of the butterfly building is, is uh, not rendering <laughs> so it's, it's it's quite it's big it's not tower building big because tower building takes forever to load and is a uh, a whole ball of lag when you get close to it or actually Oh, sometimes when you look at it, it, it lags like heck. So this is huge. That took a year. Uh, although that was a few years ago before I started the channel. So I'm very happy with what I've done. And um, the little bits that are left need a, a little bit of digesting. I think I need to digest them. Just from a creative standpoint, I need to figure out what I want to do with them. So that shall be all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching me not quite replicate a hospital, a large hospital. Um, it was quite a fun set of challenges and I'm still of the opinion I do not like diagonal buildings. <laughs> If you have any ideas for buildings that are smaller than this, or builds in general that are smaller than this, this is just on the edge of my my eye twitchy, I'm bored now, um, scale. Oop, there we go. If you think of something, uh, let me know in the comments. But until the next episode, which will hopefully be my character interviews if I can get the, the script working. Until then, Aranitasa.